So, current situation. Keys, Kyle and I are gonna go hit the hit the ice, try and catch some eel pout. We uh, went out this morning, caught a couple lake trout, super fun, but now we're shifting gears. It's a beautiful day, getting towards the end of ice season, we're early March here, which is when we like to go check, chase eel pout. You know, walleye season's closed, you know, pan fishing is kinda, yeah, you can go catch pan fish, but catching huge giant eel pout and lake trout is super fun. So, I'm waiting for Kyle and Keys right now, and we're gonna head out and see if we can catch some eel pout during the day. Generally, we catch them in the evenings, uh, into the night, uh, so maybe that's the case today too, but we're gonna see if we can get some underwater footage of them and catch them during the day. Kind of a unique fish, also very good to eat as well, but we don't keep a ton of them. We usually just keep keep a couple. Uh, they're a pretty unknown fish. Not everybody, not a lot of people know a ton about them because uh, they're kind of hard to locate in numbers throughout the year. Uh, this time of year, they are in their pre-spawn and they get into big groups and the way they spawn is incredible. They get into like these big balls and tangle themselves up together, but that's beside the point. Uh, Kyle and Keys are gonna be here in a bit. I'm gonna get the four-wheeler unloaded and we're gonna head out and try and catch some crazy fish. No. Freaky fast is not so freaky fast. It's not so freaky fast. Sorry, we kept you waiting around, Bert. What are we doing? We're getting camera gear ready because we're gonna try and make a little fishing video of sorts. Burbit, eel pout, lawyers, liar, Maria, Mariah. What else is there? What else are they called? Freshwater cod. Poor man's lobster. Poor man's lobster. Ling. Ling. Ling? Ling. Ling. Freaking Ling. <laughs> Ling. Ling. So we, we got out to our first spot and we're checking. And one thing that we do when we're looking for burbit is it's a bottom composition, as far as we can tell, type deal. So they like really hard sand bottom with really steep breaks. So we find those and we drill some holes and then we drop the aqua view down and you can see, I don't know, they're just a crazy fish. So you can pound it on the bottom and they generally come in and that's what we found. So we're, we've honestly only dropped the camera down one hole. Our first hole. Mitch says, <laughs> pound it on the bottom one time. <laughs> and so I thumped it on the bottom about three, four, five times. And about five seconds later, <laughs> here they come. <laughs> and they're so cool to watch underwater. Like they just have a crazy, they just, they look crazy when they're swimming and you can see them rooting around and they don't have very good eyesight from what we can tell. So they o they're always just feeling. You can tell that they're moving their fins on the bottom. They're using their little whisker. There's something, to, there has to be something to, I mean, like, that's how we, that's how, like 90% of the fish we catch is just pounding something on bottom, but with the aqua view, we're just slamming the camera on the bottom, and it's clean, sandy bottom. There just has to be something. Oh, keys is hooked up. There we go. <laughs> there has to be something to it oh. with, with just them. The, 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 it, it, it's like they just feel, it's something in their body that they just feel, because they just come right into yep, it. Here's another one right there. There's two of them on the camera, three of them right here and on camera. Jesus catching one. Look at this that. This puppy's cool going. Egg. <laughs> I mean, these fish are just wild. And they fight so hard. That did not take long. <laughs> you still bowed up? Yeah, that thing went for a run, man. Dude, there was one in there that was kind of a piglet. I mean, I just caught an eight-pound freaking lake trout earlier today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, he's going backwards because they just do that. <laughs> Ooh, that's a sunny one things. too. Oh, <laughs> big belly, dude. <laughs> Look at him, he's melting. Oh yeah, is it game on, middle of the day, or is that tapeworms? I don't know what that is. Those those are but... tapeworms. Oh, oh yeah it is, isn't it? Healthy, it's not... Healthy burbot. That is a it chunky. It took about five minutes. Easy, five minutes. <laughs> Doink. Doink. Just look at that. Doinky. I mean, they're just a crazy fish, and these things are actually really good to eat. 
but we don't keep a ton of them because they kind of are susceptible this time of year to over harvest. Look at that thing. Could probably keep a little bit smaller one. Not that yeah. that one would be a horrible one to keep, but let's just let them go for good measure. Sure. Look at. Nice job, McKeon. Thank you. Away he goes. <laughs> nice work. Case is hooked up. <laughs> That's a big one. Yeah, it is. That's Holy. a real big one. Holy. Get that scale, Mitch. Holy cow, McKeon. Yeah, let, her, let, her, let her go back down yeah. a little bit. Here, she's going to make a run. <laughs> I want to see this one. Yeah. Oh. oh, I guess it's not as big as I thought. Just wide load. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be more of a keeping type. <laughs> Do you not have bait on this? I did, yeah. Oh, bad. He's got, look at, uh -oh. he's got a real strong grip. Yeah. <laughs> like a one ski. Look at that. <laughs> he's, locked, he's locked on. So, yeah. just to kind of show you guys, I mean, this isn't like a huge one. Average. But, just to kind of show you, give you guys some scale of what these suckers, how big these suckers are and how hard they fight. Boy, the water is so clear. He looked much larger. We'll throw it on the scale here. Yeah, the, the tail down there, boy. Right there. Mm -hmm. Zeroed. Seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter pounds. <laughs> you know, sizable fish, for sure. Well, so like the laker he caught today. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Keys. Well, it appears as though. Things are going. Things are going well. Things, Things are, are going, going well. well. We oh haven't gosh. even started fishing. We're oh just gosh. fiddling with camera gear. Okay. They're just like a snake. They're just they can just bend it all. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> so you'll be able to see this on the underwater footage, but the stuff that we're fishing is so steep that when you turn the camera one way, you're looking right into the. The bottom, and then if you turn it, you're out looking over, looking into the abyss. You actually, to be able to see down the break, you actually have to lay the camera on the bottom so you can see all the way down it. And like I said, they just they feel their, their way around. It's pretty crazy. So they'll actually come up and rub their bodies up alongside the camera. So sometimes you'll just be holding the camera one way, and from behind, one will come in and bump it. Side. Oh. oh. Whiteies, white fish. So these are pretty. These are. Oh, look at them! It's a nice school of them. Oh wow! We, look this at is crazy. The and everything. He's coming. So, and what we figured out too at the burbit by you know dropping the camera down and watching them in the way they eat, they're always in the way they feel with their body. It makes sense how you're always catching them right on bottom, and you know we're using heavy spoons, heavy jigs, just pound bottom. And it makes a lot of sense after watching them eat that, you know, that's, you know, instead of jigging them up like a walleye, I mean, you can still catch them that way, but oftentimes it's just right off bottom. The stuff that we're fishing is so steep that you can't, there's a fall off. So the bottom, your electronics are reading the bottom, and then there's usually like three, four feet that you can't see, that your jig still drops, but you can't see it. And that's where those fish are actually living, so... That one was up off bottom. Got you got one? Up one? Off. Yeah. <laughs> that one came in off bottom. And like Mitchie said, the break is so steep that there's at least three feet between where I can actually read my bait and the bottom. I happen to see this one flicker off bottom a little bit. <laughs> and I Maybe. wanted to see if I could catch them by holding it up there. And it's so weird because I've noticed when burbot do this, they mark so heavy, thick yellow lines. And they can be right on your bait for what feels like, you know, this has got to be the moment. Like, he's all over my bait. And for whatever reason, like, a walleye will come and make contact with it, and it's usually game on. But burbot, like, hang around your bait for a second, make a big paint streak mess, and then 
crush it. Ooh. Oh, brother. Dude, get that scale. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Big one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this one. Look at the crazy. Oh, they, they, oh, man. These things are so wild. That Look at that. That's crazy. Oh, my goodness. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. That is a big one. Look at the sheer size of the tail. Scale. Big old uh, fins on it. It is recommended that you don't fish with treble hooks, but. Boy, I sure wish I would have got that one biting. Oh, oh power up scale. Look at the belly. That's similar to one I got last time. <laughs> yeah. Clip done. Not quite. Not quite double dig. Ten pounds. Ten and nine and a half. Not quite nine and a half. Jeez, look at that thing. Look at him. Big old oh, belly. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> you can literally yes, get a football in there. That's He's crazy. Tight. Tight. That thing is literally the size of Ryan's calf. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Get them in there head first. Sometimes it's really hard to get them in there. There you go. Bye bye. Here he comes. Got him. Got him. Oh man, that was so cool. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's you flying. Up there. That no, I'm, I'm shooting you. I'm shooting you fighting the thing. That thing just flew in and just hammered it. Just go easy at the bottom of the hole. Yep. Yep. All right. I got you. Get the deucer out of the way. Oh, these fish are so cool. So cool. I might actually start fishing. I'm just at the bottom of the hole. Yep, he's so. right there. He's rolling around. There he is. Yay! <laughs> Hello, burb. <laughs> oh. I actually kind of have him stuck, stuck in the side of the head. He didn't actually eat it. Well, yeah, that's. I can see how that's a bit so possible. He was going to eat it, but you lifted up and he was there. No. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, I got him. Little guy. Little, guy. little one. Hey, that that might be an eater. Freaking cuts. Cuts. Freaking cuts. <laughs> nice. Burbit. Boy bet. You could have him. He'll make a sandwich. Yeah, I think I am gonna. You only get to do this about once a year, so. Clean him up. Keep a handful. Might even show you guys how to cook them. Yep, how to clean them and cook them. They're definitely unique. Freshwater cod. Much love and respect, man. Appreciate you. Alright, give him a bonk. That school of whitefish was interesting. See that? Yeah, I see that. He's gonna eat it. Get him! Get him! You got him! <laughs> Bourbon on? White no, fish. White fish. White fish. Catch and cook. White going fish and going for the cold water trifecta today. Lake trout, burbot, and white fish. March madness, man. March madness. We've been seeing whiteies around, hoping to catch one. They're one of our favorite fish to catch. Oh yeah, baby. I don't know what I got, but this is a nice white. Oh, mine feels like a bird. Oh, oh Jesus, I a giant <laughs> white fish. Giant white fish. I got a, I think I got a bourbon on. <laughs> Look at the brick. <laughs> oh my goodness, that thing is giant. What do you got, Mitch? I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the hump. I'll see if I can horse thing. him. Oh man. I'm gonna go help Mitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I got. My hole is just totally filled with slush. I have a burbot. Look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, they're just so, they're hard to grab. Yep. But they're... Oh, 
Oh, I keep thinking trout. <laughs> no. <laughs> Whiteys. Whiteys, trout, and trout. Uh, we got three species on the ice today. All very respectable ones. Yep. Let's go. Let's go see what Keys has got. <laughs> this is crazy. Just super fun. I mean. <laughs> Hold up. Flip your hand, flip yours so their heads are together. Oh, go. oh, he's biting me. There we go. Yeah, push them close together. <sighs> that might be a cool photo. <laughs> Jeez, that thing was just kind of looking for that spoon and slurped it up. Oh, man, this is too much fun. Beautiful weather. Exactly. Ice is getting down. You know, we don't have too much longer because it's getting nice. Sun's getting more intense and... Which is a good thing, we can start getting out in boats, but it's kind of tough to beat getting out here and catching these suckers. I'm going to let the burbot go. Okay, let me, get, oh, let me get, let's do this shot here real quick. I really want to get this shot. So when you let them go, try not to plow yep. a bunch of snow and slush in there. Okay. Ready? Yep. I'm, oh, I'm oh, I had him so nicely. Yep. Okay, down goes yep. the burbot. <laughs> Giant whitey. Zhoo! <laughs> Man, that's so cool. That is cool. It's like you endure just January and February, freezing no cold, terrible, doubt. terrible bites. Like. Like Mitchie said, like, well, let's just go catch some more eight inch crappies or, yeah. <laughs> you know, walleye fishing is slow and all of a sudden March, it's like Jimbo perch are coming online and burbot are spawning and lake trout are getting mad still. And yeah, you can legally target them, you know, like right now our, our game fish species just stopped. It just ended in February. So this is the first week of March and our options are. We're roughing know, it. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're roughing rough it. Fish, yeah. <laughs> You know, with the exception of lake trout, which closes here soon too, but, yep. you know, they're ornery in March and so are the burbot and you can come out and catch ciscos and whitefish and enjoy being outside and catching fish. And for sure. So. Not all huddled up next to the fire. Hoping for a bite. <laughs> Hoping for a bite. I'm gonna go catch another one. Yeah. I might try and catch one too. Kyle, you should catch one. Marking, for sure. Got him! Yeah! This one's not as big, but I don't know what's going on. What do I got? What do I got? What do I got? What do I got? Burbot! <laughs> oh man. These things are awesome. <laughs> He absolutely smashed it. Once you get them with this hook, the too, hybrid sticks them. Yeah, they just don't don't lose them. Now that I say that, I'm probably gonna launch, lose a huge one. But, oh, that is so cool! <laughs> I want another shot to let him go. Oh man, it's really hard to control their heads sometimes. <laughs> hooked up, hooked up, hooked up. Oh man, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got a Tula B, not even a whitey. Tulabee, we are on a roll with weird species in March. Not a big one.
Do you want one more? Well, that's a good one to clean. Well, it's been a very extremely fun, eventful day between early morning catching a few lake trout and then we got out here and chased the wonderful burbot around and between the whitefish, the burbot, tulipy, pike, lake trout today, it's been pretty awesome. So unfortunately, um, it's kind of slowed down here in the evening. So we'll probably close it out here and you know, we got some pretty, pretty awesome underwater footage. The burbot were happy. So, you know, it's a fun thing to do. I guess once it starts warming up on the ice, they're fun to catch anytime, but when they get real active like they were today and happy, it's tons of fun and get a couple buddies and go drill a bunch of holes and try and catch a burbot. So not just an ideal. Not just a night deal, no. Might, might yeah, because usually it's prime time right now and we haven't caught a, caught a burbot here in a little bit. So I think Bert's ready to go too. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the underwaters and thanks for sticking with us.